If you've ever said, I have trouble dating because I'm really picky, this video is for you. I'm Damona Hoffman, host of the Dates and Mates podcast. In the nearly 15 years I've been coaching singles, I've come across this reasoning time and time again. When you say, I'm just really picky, here's what it really means. First, being picky is often a coping mechanism for fear. We all have fear in dating, fear of opening up, fear of rejection, fear of being alone, fear that you'll settle for someone just okay when there could be someone better out there. But you might have already experienced in life that your most amazing moments are all on the other side of your fear. When people tell me that they're picky, I also hear that they're cutting off relationship options because of prior wounds. These wounds can come from childhood, past breakups, or even just from being single for a long time. But if you can identify and name the source of your wound, you're already halfway to overcoming it. Now we have an opportunity to address that fear and that hurt head on. There's a thought playing in your head right now that's imprinting itself on your heart. This is a phrase, a word, a belief system that's repeated over and over again in your mind. And the more that you repeat it, the more that you believe it. The phrase might be something like, if I lost 20 pounds, then I could find a date. Everyone my age wants to date someone younger. I'm destined to be single forever. All the good ones are already taken. Or simply, I'm just really picky. I'd like to walk you through a simple exercise to identify that limiting belief that could be preventing you from finding love. Start with thinking of your own dating beliefs phrase right now. It shouldn't be hard to think of because it's a recurring thought that is present all day, every day. Are you thinking of your phrase? Great. Hold on to that for now because we're going to begin a process to rewire these hurtful thoughts. We do this by creating another phrase to replace it with, something that combats the negative thought and replaces it with a positive one. To become real, it only has to be 51% believable. And the more you say it to yourself and the more you live by its principles, the more you will believe it. So for example, if your phrase is, it's really hard to date in my city, then your replacement phrase is, this city is a great place for meeting other single people. And even if it doesn't seem true for you in this instant, it can become true for you over time. And if you believe it, you will see it. Think of your replacement phrase now. Write it down if you wish. Then practice it after you finish watching this video. Think of it before you go to bed each night. Use the replacement phrase every time you think of that limiting belief and watch as your mind and your experience begin to shift. Moving on to the second reason you could be saying you're too picky. You might not be dating in the right pool. Let's walk through another exercise to help you identify your ideal match and find that person. Ready? First, I want you to think of the top 10 qualities that your ideal date would have. And I'm not talking about interest. I'm talking about qualities. Who is this person at their core? What are their hopes and dreams for the future? How do they look at the world? And now, narrow your list down to five qualities. Yeah, get rid of anything that is non-essential. Really think about the qualities that remain and ask yourself, is this a must have? or would like to have quality. And now, narrow it down to three. These are the three must-have qualities in your dream partner. This is your elevator pitch for a match. This is the key search criteria that you should be using on the Match app. This is what you should tell your friends you're looking for when you're asking them for a setup. This is the list that you should review again if you're deciding whether or not you should give a person a second or third date. The next time you're tempted to say, I'm just too picky, dive deep and figure out where this is coming from. You just need to know where to look for those who align with what you truly want. And of course, give them a chance. I'm Damona Hoffman from the Dates and Mates podcast, and I hope you enjoyed this video.